this problem reviews a number of circle theorems. Now we've got a tangent and a cyclic quadrilateral split into two triangles. And the question says, find angle x. Now then, if we have a tangent and a triangle, if we know that this angle here is 40, then the alternate segment theorem tells us that angle there is also 40. So therefore, I know that's 40, again, due to the alternate segment theorem. So that's fact one we've used. If we knew that angle there, that would be the same as this one here. Now then, we can therefore find out another angle. These two lines here are parallel because we've got arrows on the lines. So I know this angle here must also be 40. And that's using the alternate angle on parallel lines. So that's 40 because of the alternate segment theorem. That's 40 because it's a z-angle or an alternate angle. Now then, these two dashes here we know these two angles here are the same. So if I do 180, take 40, because that's a triangle, I get 140 degrees. And if I then divide that by 2, I get 70. So this is 70, but also this is 70. Now then, to find x, I then use one final circle theorem. This is a cyclic quadrilateral, so these two angles here add up to 180 degrees. So this angle here, opposite the 70, must be 110. So again, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180 degrees. So to find x, I'll do 180, because I look at this triangle here. Take 110, take 40, which works out to be 30 degrees. So x has a size of 30 degrees.